In this video, we'll balance the equation for KNO3 plus K. So we have potassium nitrate plus metallic potassium. And if you heat this up, this reaction will take place. It's kind of a convenient way to make this potassium oxide here. To balance the equation, let's count the atoms up first. We have one potassium here and one here. So that gives us a total of two, one nitrogen, and then the three oxygen atoms. On the product side, we have two potassiums two nitrogens, and then just the one oxygen. Because we have potassium by itself here, let's leave that until last. Why don't we balance the nitrogens? We could put a two here. This two applies to everything, so three times two. That would give us six oxygens, one times two, two nitrogens. The nitrogens are balanced. And then we need to update our potassium atoms here. So we have one times two plus the one here. That gives us Three. But that's okay. Potassium here by itself, that'll be easy to balance. Let's fix the oxygens. Six here in the reactants, only one in the products. Coefficient of six in front of the potassium oxide, one times six, that'll give us six. Now the oxygens are balanced. Two times six for the potassium, that gives us 12. So now we have 12 potassium atoms, but the nitrogens and oxygens are balanced. We can balance the potassiums thinking about it this way. Two potassiums here plus some number gives us the 12. Two plus 10, that would give us 12. You can update the potassiums. One times two for the potassium atoms, we have those. And then we have the 10, we just put that there. One times 10, that gives us 10. So we have 12 potassium atoms. This equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for KNO3 plus K. Thanks for watching.